To begin understanding how to use BMS Plus, let's start with the BMS Server program. This program is designed to work in the background and receive data from your connected ECG or spirometry machine. Double click the icon to start the program and open your system tray to find the BMS Server icon. Clicking on this icon will bring up a list of options for the program. Let's start with Environment. The top field is used to define the working directory, or where transferred data from your machine will go in your computer. The folder location for this data is displayed in the field and can be changed by clicking the icon with three dots next to it. This ensures that the recorded data from your machines is going where you want it to go. The fields below this are used to define where the program files for your EKG viewer and Spiro viewer are located. Defining these file locations will allow you to launch the programs from your BMS server system tray icon. Click three dots next to each and a window will pop up to define file locations. Generally, the program files will be found in C, Program Files, Bionet, BMS Plus, and then under the file name ekgviewer.exe and spiroviewer.exe. Double click the file to set the location in your BMS server program. The next set of options allows you to determine what kind of files you would like your ECG or Spyro data to create. The last option allows you to choose if you would like all of your data files to go to the same folder or to be broken up into subfolders depending on type. Above Environment is the Data List, which is where you can access a list of all transferred data on your computer, found in the folder location you chose under Working Directory. The final two links will launch your EKG or Spyro Viewer programs from the server program. These will only work if you have previously defined the program file location under Environment, which was covered earlier. You will not have to utilize Connect to Machine or Run Upgrade. Select Exit if you wish to close the program. The next program we will cover in BMS Plus is the EKG Viewer program. Launch this program by double-clicking on the desktop icon or launching from the BMS server list. This is the main screen for the EKG viewer. Let's take a tour of the program. Starting from the top left, you will find the file menu, which will allow you to save, open, close, or print any selected ECG study. You can also exit the program from this menu. The view menu allows you to choose which toolbars you would like to display in the program. The toolbars with a check next to them are currently displaying on the main screen. Next is the Tools menu, where the Settings menu is located. The first setting should be familiar to you if you have connected a machine to the software, but this setting is where you will input the IP address for the device you would like to connect to the software. Below this, you can control the size of the display image and full screen image. Next, you can select how big the saved JPEG file should be and what setting is best for your DICOM connection. The last two settings allow you to set the folder location of saved files and to specify doctor and hospital for your practice. Going back to the Tools menu, select Measurement to measure the ECG vertically or horizontally. You can exit the Measurement tool by clicking on the Measurement button over here. The next tool is the Magnifying Glass tool, which allows you to zoom in on a selected section of the ECG. Simply hold down the left mouse button and scan across the ECG to get a close look at it. The last tool is a toggle, which allows the ECG to display pacemaker detection or not. The last menu is the Help menu, where clicking About will display the current version of your software. Starting from the left in the toolbar below, these buttons allow you to open, close, or save an ECG. Note that when saving, you may use the bottom drop-down menu to determine if you would like to save files as a JPEG, PDF, DICOM, or EKG file. The next buttons allow you to switch between one window and two window modes. Two window mode is useful for comparing two ECGs. Click on the bottom window and open a separate file to compare the two ECGs. Click one window mode to return to your original view. Next, the red triangle button will allow you to monitor the signal from your currently selected machine. Click the button again to stop the monitoring. The red circle next to this allows you to record a 10 second reading from your connected machine. Once the reading is complete, a success message will appear and your recording will be on the screen. Once your recording is complete, it will be saved in the folder location you determined in the settings menu. 
The last buttons allow you to print the current ECG selection and view the software version. When printing, you can select how you would like your printout to look. These options allow you to choose what information is on your printout, including the program diagnosis, the numerical values of measured parameters, any comments made to the file, and if pacemaker indicators are printed. The options to the right control the color, style, and thickness of the lines of your graph. Pressing default will return any changes back to their original settings. The next section will allow you to customize the display of your ECG data. You can adjust number of channels, which channel is the rhythm channel, the gain, and the speed. You also have quick access to the three tools from the Tools menu. The last section of the program is the Customizable Information fields on the left. These allow you to adjust the patient data for the file if you have not previously entered this information into your machine. Click Edit Info to input information and save information to save it. There is an additional tab for analysis. You cannot adjust any of the ECG information, but you can add comments to the analysis the same as any information on the previous information tab. Pressing the X at the top will allow you to close the program. The final program that is included with BMS Plus is the Spy Reviewer program. Once again, this program can be launched by double clicking the desktop icon or launching it from the BMS server list. This program will look very similar to the ECG Viewer program, but with a few small differences. The largest change you will note is that the Spyro Viewer program does not live monitor results from your machine. The program is only designed to display and analyze previously recorded data from your machine over USB transfer or internet connection. Let's take a tour of the program. In the top left corner, you will find the program drop down menus. File will allow you to open, close, save, and print your spirometer file. The View menu allows you to customize how you view your data or program. The first three options allow for screen layout of your data. Select Split Window Mode to allow the ability to compare two measurement files together. Click the new empty window that opened and press the Open button to select the file you would like to display in that space. You can return to a single window display by pressing Full Window Mode in the View menu. The last viewing mode is Full Screen Mode, and you can exit this mode by pressing Escape on your keyboard. The remaining options in the View menu allow you to zoom in or out, pressing Default Display to undo all changes, and to select which toolbars are visible in the program window. The Help menu displays the current program version. Below these menus are buttons to open, close, or print a file, to switch between full and split window mode, to print, and to display the current program version. The options to the left of this allow you to adjust the color, line style, and thickness of the measurement data. Press Default to return these changes to their original settings. Press here to toggle between Flow Volume and Volume Time displays. The last button will display all measurements in a test, or simply the best one. The final sections of the program are the patient information and analysis sections. The left area will display any patient information transferred with the file, but this information can be added to or changed by pressing Edit Information. Make sure that you press Save Information before closing the file or program to prevent loss of information. At the bottom of the program is the analysis area. This will display numerical data from the measurement and a diagnosis based on the data. You may add any comments here and save them by pressing Save Comment. You can exit the program by clicking the X at the top right or selecting the option from the file drop-down menu. Congratulations! You have now learned to use all programs contained within BMS+.